This is Claudia from Milan. She is covering for a secretary on maternity leave. Marek is Polish. He is completing a three-week computer programming assignment. Andrew in the UK started working on a construction site several months ago after a long period of unemployment. These three Europeans have one thing in common. They are temporary agency workers. Nowadays, millions of Europeans work through this flexible form of employment. Claudia, Marek and Andrew also share a common concern. Can they be asked to work under less favourable conditions than if they were hired directly by the companies to do the same job? The answer is no. A European law protecting temporary agency workers entitles them, as a general rule, to equal treatment. It gives them the same rights and working conditions as their counterparts, who are hired directly by the companies. This applies to pay, length of working time, breaks, rest periods, holidays and anti-discrimination measures. Agency workers have the same needs as any other staff, so they should have access to any collective facilities such as canteens, childcare facilities and transport services on an equal footing with their colleagues. Their access to training must also be improved. Temporary agency workers should be given an opportunity to find permanent employment too, so they must be informed of any vacant posts in the company or organisation where they work. In some countries, it is the employers and workers' representatives who negotiate the employment and working conditions of agency workers, but in all cases, overall protection must be ensured. And of course, each EU country has its own regulations. What EU law does is to set common rights that must be applied. Better protection for agency workers, more flexibility for companies.